So first of all, we will prepare the basic solution by VAM method, that is penalty method. But before this, is it a balanced transportation problem? What is total quantity? 65. So this also 65. This one is supply. This one is demand. But the lowest cost, 3. Next cost is 5. So penalty is 2. Lowest cost is 1. Next cost is 2. So penalty is 1. Lowest cost is 3. Next immediate cost is 7. So penalty is 4. Column wise. Lowest cost is 3. Next immediate cost is 6. So penalty is 3. Lowest cost is 1. Next immediate cost is 6. So penalty is 5. Lowest cost is 2. Next immediate 3. Penalty is Lowest cost is 5, next cost is 5, penalty is 0. Highest penalty is 5, so we will enter through this in column. In this column, the lowest cost is 1. Allocate maximum. Can we allocate 19? We can allocate 19. 19 is strike out. We left with 9. Because of this one, column number 1, you have to strike out. Okay, next penalty is now. Lowest number is 3, next number is 5. Penalty is 2. This one is also cancelled. Lowest number is 2. Next number is 3. 5. So penalty is 3. Lowest number is 3. Next number is 7. So penalty is 4. 3, 6, 7. 3 and 6. So penalty is 3. 2 and 3. 1. 5 and 5. 0. Which one is the highest penalty? 4. So in this row, the minimum cost is 3. So allocate maximum. Can we allocate 13? So 13, strike out. Left with 4. And strike out the column, this also. Next time we will not perform the calculation for this. This one is 3, this one is 5, penalty is 2. This one is 6, this one is 5, penalty this one is 7, this one is 9, penalty is 2. There is no change, penalty is 3. There is no change, penalty is 0. So maximum penalty is 3. So enter into this column. Lowest cost is 3. DM is 15. So we can allocate 15. Cancel out. We left with 5. Strike out this. Results. So there is no point in getting the penalty. So what we start? We will allocate with the minimum cost. Minimum cost is 5. How much we can allocate? 5. So allocate 5. Allocate 9. And then how much allocate? Is 4. So 18 cancel out. 4, 9, 5 cancel out. Number 6. Okay. What is the cost involved? And is it same as number of occupants also? So this is a basic visible solution. So we are going to perform the optability test. So we will discuss the step involved method. The very first step is that assign variable ui to each row and vj to each column. Say for example this one is row 1. So you assign this variable equals to u1. Assign this variable equals to u2. Assign this variable equal to u3. According to column you assign this one as v1. This one as v2. <coughs> this one as v3 and this one as v4 so you can any one value you can assign equals to 0 so i have decided to make v1 equals to 0 then using the allocated cells that is this cell this cell and this cell calculate the value of the remaining values that is u1 u2 u3 v2 v3 v4 using the formula cij that is the cost of this must equals to ui plus uj so you have to proceed this so let us assign this value equal to 0 so this value is equal to 0 so this one is our matrix is what is it c11 so c11 equal to u1 plus v1 c11 is 3 u1 we don't know but what is the value of v1 is 0. So can we find out u1 that equal to 3. So allocate this value equal to 3. 
Now, since we know u1 and we know this cos that equal to what? 5. So, what is the number? Is it 1, 4? So, C1, 4. C1, 4 is u1 plus v4. So, C1, 4 is the cost is 5. u1 value is 3. So, we can calculate value of v4. So, v4 equals to 2. So, right here v4 equals to 2. This number is this number is 2, 4. So, C2, 4 is U2 plus V4. C2, 4 is 5. We don't know U2. But V4 is equals to 2. So, we have got U2 equals to 3. So, I will assign this value equal to 3. Next is, this is occupied cell. So, this one is 3, 4. C, 3, 4. U, 3. Plus V, 4. This one is 9. We don't know U, 3. But you know the value of V, 4. That is 2. So, value of U, 3 is 7. So, this value equal to 7. C, 3, 3. C, 3, 3 equals to u3 plus v3 this one is 3 what is u3 u3 is 7 plus v3 so what is the value of v3 minus 4 so this one is minus 4 so this cell is c22 u2 plus v2 c22 is 1 u2 is 3 we don't know v2 so v2 equals to minus 2 so this one is minus 2 so let try for delta ij so what is this number this number is 2 1 so delta 2 1 equals to delta 2 1 is equal to c 2 1 minus u u is i think i and this one is j so this one is i and this one is j so this one is u i so this number is 2 minus of u 2 and this number is what? V1. Okay. What is C21? 6. Minus. What is the cost in this one? Is 3. And what is this one? Row? 0. So what is this number? 3. 1 by 1. This one is? Delta 3 1. Only for unoccupied. C31 minus U3 plus V1. C31 is 7. Minus. This is 7. This one is 0. Minus 7 is 0. This one. This number is delta 1, 2. A is C12 minus u1 plus v2 c12 is 6 minus corresponding row value is 3 corresponding column value is minus 2 3 minus 2 uh, 1 and this one is 5 this one this one is delta 3 2 3 2 minus u3 plus v2 c32 is 8 this side is 7 this side is minus 2 this one is 5 so this number is 3 so what is this number this number is delta 1 3 e 1 3 minus u1 plus 
v3 c13 is 8 minus value in that row is 3 value in that column is minus 4 this one is minus 1 so this one is 9 next is this so 2 3 minus u2 plus v3 this number is 2 minus this number is 3 and this number is minus 4 so this is minus 1 plus 1 3 if all the values of delta ij are positive or 0 then optimal solution is rich and in, in case if delta ij is negative we will discuss that procedure later on so right now is this cost is a optimal cost first four steps and when we come across this situation we will discuss it separately